the Lights on KMOT-TV starts now. Welcome to this week's Under the Lights coverage. We have a lot of highlights to bring you tonight. First off, Joe has highlights from the Magic City. That's right, John. A top five matchup at Dwayne Carlson Stadium as Minot High hosted Fargo Davies. Hey, it's a great night always to be playing under the big M in Minot, right? We're going to pick up the action late in the second quarter. Davies already up 10-0. Minot trying to counter our running back Griffin Broderick uh, finds a gap and uh, gets some serious yards here. Minot on a roll now. This time you're going to see a pass to Aaron Prestwich. The Magicians would get close to the goal line, but there's only five seconds left in the half. So Coach Hendershot is going to settle for the points. He gets the field goal as we go into halftime. Second half, we saw Davies' ground game get going. Here's number 26 for the Eagles getting some serious yards. And then a few plays later, number 88 for Davies takes this one all the way to the house. John, I don't think Davies had a single pass play on this entire drive, but it worked. They got the touchdown. Now, Minot would bring this one within a touchdown, but they do fall at home 17 to 10. John? Uh, nothing wrong with pounding the rock. Let's go now to the geographical center of North America as rugby hosts Grafton. Rugby can move to three and one with a win. And on the first possession of the game, Tucker Bulk snatches a third down interception out of his free safety position, finds a convoy on his return, cuts back inside, and it's a Panthers touchdown. We've seen a lot of pick sixes recently, haven't we? Rugby's third possession still 8 0 inside handoff to Tatum Rostovi. He cuts outside, and the Panthers are back in the red zone and can go up two scores. Third and goal now from the 10. Bulk hands off to Rosovi in the shotgun, and his offensive line lays out a red carpet through the A-gap. The Grafton spoilers unable to spoil the party in rugby. Panthers go to 3-1 and 2-0 and in Region 2 play. The number two team in nine-man West Hope Newburg Glenburn heads to Divide County to take on the Maroons. First drive for the Sioux, Walker Broughton takes the snap. Drops back and throws it up to his receiver, Jaden Nelson, for the 24-yard score. Sioux lead 8-zip. Next possession, Divide forced to punt in. The ball is snapped well over the punter's head. He's trying to get rid of it, but the Sioux take advantage, and they'll start at the 3-yard line. Broughton now gives it to Trayton Lessman for the score. Now 16-0 for WNG. Broughton would have a whopping four passing touchdowns by the end of the first half alone, including this 31-yard dime to Lessman in the second quarter. WNG cruises to a 68-15 victory. And coming up, third-ranked Velva looks for its third straight victory, plus all the scores from around the area and my player of the night. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 